What's up, everybody? Matt Nuzzo. We're here at Real. We've got the Slingwing V2. We've got team rider James Jenkins with us, and we're going to go over this great new product from uh, Slingshot. So let's get started. So uh, we've got James Jenkins with us. He's a uh, team rider for Real. He's a team rider for, uh, for Slingshot. A sick foiler, but comes to foiling from surfing background. So he's a surf guide uh, in Nicaragua and Fiji and gets to go all around the world, go surfing awesome waves and awesome barrels. and, and um, gotten to, to foiling because it was just expanding his range. Never really did wind sports short of sailing like a sunfish or something, right? Sunfish and lasers, yeah. <laughs> sunfish and lasers, right? But when the, the wings came out, he's like, dude, I gotta get that. Now that I foil, like, it makes sense, you know? So James, tell us, like, where's the where's the wing been fitting into your range between, you know, getting barreled off your ass to, you know, uh, ripping turns to, on the foil? Like, where, where's the winging? Where's that fitting into your range? Yeah, well, for me, coming from a surfing background, I got into foiling after that, mm. um, basically because, hey, when the waves are small, I want to get out there, and the foil allows you to do that on right, days when you right. wouldn't, wouldn't think about normally surfing. And then I see the wing, and okay, yeah, now there's a lot of wind, there's not much swell, so yeah, maybe I'll foil, but hey, it's better for the wing. Right. So it's just another way to keep me out there on days when I normally wouldn't be. Catching more waves, that's yes, great. Sir. Cool. So, um, you know, the Slingwing V2, obviously just looking at it like right now, it's flying away, right? It's significantly different than the V1. And, you know, you learn on the V1 and now you're on to the V2. What's like the most noticeable thing that you found different? Like you, as soon as you grabbed the, the V2, what's, what's the most noticeable difference you found? Yeah. So the first time I pumped it up, the first thing I noticed was just how light it is. Yeah. I mean, just picking it up. crazy light. It's crazy light. Like, like it just like flies on its own. It's so balanced too and like super lightweight. Yeah. Yeah. So that was definitely the most most noticeable thing at first even before taking it out in the water just holding it on the beach was right it's crazy just it's so so light yeah and it's cool because like slingshots known for their durability and a lot of you know some of the complaints on the kites was like they're they're heavy and like people are like they're super durable they last forever but they're heavy you know whereas like kind of that the slingwing v1 went along that like super heavy build, like super durable, that, you know, this is a totally different end of the spectrum. Like the build quality is super solid. They're using their four by four material. Um, you can tell their craftsmanship, you know, is really solid as Slingshot known, but like the weight of this thing is just, it's just nuts. Like it's so lightweight. And then when you like, you pick it up to like walk out, the thing's just flying on its own. You yeah. know, it's like, takes no wind. It's just always flying. So cool, man. What else do you notice about this thing once you started riding it? Yeah, once I started riding it, well, it's got a lot of lift. It really pulls you up quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the second biggest thing I noticed was how great the handles work. Yeah. And how uh, they're just really placed well on the wing. Um, right. There's not too many of them. I just feel like every handle on the wing has a purpose. Right. Um, and they just really nailed the nailed the right. one. Yeah, with the handles too, like, you know, they've done kind of a, a nice job, like, you know, we're starting to recognize like, hey, the super hard handles, like, they hurt your hands. So like, these have enough rigidity where you like, when you sheet in, you're not, it's not like a spongy handle, but they're not like a giant diameter, you know? So like, they, they're soft enough, but like firm enough that you can, the, your pump translates to riding it, but it's also not hurting your hands. Also the placement, like, you know, the other one had handles freaking there's like handles all over the place, right. you know? And now you can see just like two lower handles, one here, one here. Like, what are you using these different handles for? Yeah, so basically start with this top one. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I get onto a wave or a piece of swell or whatever, um, and I, you know, go into the deep power mode, that's, that's the handle I'm holding. Deep power man handle, yep. Yeah, and it's just, I hold onto that thing and that wing is so stable and so balanced behind right. me. I'm riding the wave on a foil board and I'm not even thinking about my wing. Which right. Is, crazy yeah i mean that's one thing you notice like right off the bat is the power mode on this wing yep. like you it's like the wing completely disappears mm -hmm. and it doesn't like nose down one way or another like that's really right. where i think slingshot did a lot of focus work on this is like we want these things to get our foilers out into the waves and riding waves so when you go into depower mode on this thing it is like the the wing just completely disappears like no other wing i've had it's balanced um there's a lot of dihedral which is this like arc in the wing here yeah. um and that dihedral keeps it balanced but it's also um it's just crazy the wing just totally disappears and you can surf and i you know i've seen in the videos you post and, and just from my own experience riding is like you hold this thing out it's like you don't you know like doesn't create a lot of drag it just right. completely disappears so you got your deep power handle here what are we doing with it with this whole program here yeah so this handle right here i use when i'm getting up so mm -hmm. i use this one and then i use this the second to last one here okay 
Um, and that's what I, when I, once I pop up, and then uh -huh. once I'm up, um, I use the Y handles with my front hand, mm -hmm. either this one or that one. Mm -hmm. And then I move my lower hand to the farthest bottom uh, handle down there. And that's just how going upwind, that seems to work best for me. And you know, I can go upwind pretty, nice. pretty well with this new wing. Yeah, I've been loving the Y handles too. Like the Y handles just give you more opportunity for transition. It just, um, right. one, I feel like the, the wing is more stable in my mm -hmm. hands when I'm using the Y handle. Um, less apt to, it like, keeps the wing tip out of the water too when right. I'm using the Y handle. Handle. You know, when I, like I'm changing over, I'm not trying to like put one hand where the other hand is. I like when I'm transitioning, it's just easy to go Y handle, Y handle. So I'm right. stoked that they kept those things. And then also like, you know, just the opportunity. You got two different, you know, handles there. It's not like a ton. You don't need a freaking ton of them, you know? Right. Um, so when you're riding, why do you like that lower handle on there? Does it just give you more drive? It or? gives me a little bit more power, yeah. yeah. And when it's really, really cranking, I, I don't even need the bottom one. I use this one when it's really windy just because yeah. you don't need that much power. But right. holding that lower handle really exposes your canopy to right. the wind more and you just get maximum power. Nice. Um, yeah, and then when tacking and jibing, uh, I'll move my hand from the Y to this one right here. Mm -hmm. And um, that just really helps me throw it over my head when I'm changing from yeah. toe side to toe side and all that. Cool. Yeah, they, uh, you can see here too, they put in um, harness loop attachments here, like solid ones. You're not like tying off to the handle. Like that's a really hard, solid harness loop. There, it does not include a harness loop, but for those, some people are liking the harness loop uh, attachment to ride a harness. You know, personally, we kind of talked about it like, we're a little more on the minimalist approach, like don't want to have to deal with a harness and whatnot. You know, it just hasn't, I haven't really felt the need for one. But some people like it just to kind of curb the fatigue and stuff. Um, and it also gives you a little more direct feel where you're like locked in, you know? Yeah. So it's nice that they added that on there. You know, they don't include a, a harness line. Um, you can just put, you know, a piece of spectra or an actual harness line. And the other thing it does, I've got the attachment here. It does come with your coil leash here. Um, that's your wrist leash. Like personally, I don't like the coil leash because it's always like, just kind of coiling around, but you don't seem to have a problem with it. You yeah, know? it doesn't bother me. Right. Um, I don't know. I just got a thing against coil leashes, but yeah. So the you know the coil leash, like it's nice that they include it. The wing does not include a pump either, so you have to have a pump uh, if you are going to be getting this wing. But again, a lot of people already have pumps, so there's no point in sending a pump. You know, like right. so fifty or sixty dollar item with each one. So it's like you know they can save a little on the, the wing there. So cool, man. What else? Uh, what about else about this wing that is unique? Yeah, I mean, I just for me going from V1 to V2, this thing is just, they've really done a great job improving it. You know, in the waves, just what we talked about, when you go into the deep power mode, it's amazing how you can be going down the line, just like you're surf foiling, change direction, you know, doing turns and whatnot, and the wing just stays right behind you regardless of which direction you're going. Right. Um, I did notice here, when we first got it, we we're like pumping up to, it says 6 PSI. I'm like, I'm not too sure about it. So we pumped it up to 6 PSI, it kind of felt like, a little spongy, yeah. a little noodly. You know, and this was the, the, like their first rep samples. Obviously, Team Rider, you get stuff before most people do. And so they've said, that, you know, like 10 is kind of the, the PSI that they, right. they want yeah. you to pump to do, right? Why the guy from Slingshot, he's uh, manning the, uh, the wing charge. And he said, yeah, we, we have six PSI on there, but just crank it up to 10 and it'll perform much better, yeah. which it, it, it really has. Right, and so it's like definitely noticeable when you put this thing up to, to 10 PSI. It has a really nice rigid frame and, and they also have kind of taken that, that boat of like, put this material in here and it's, uh, right in between so the draft can move, okay? So you've got, instead of having the strut connect right to the canopy material, this, dra this material here allows the draft to move forward and aft, so that kind of really helps with the gustier conditions. And the final thing, which is di really unique about this wing, is the wingspan and the cutoff wingtip, you know? So tell us a little bit about like the cutoff wingtip, like it definitely looks quite a bit different than what other people are doing. Yeah, the squared off wingtips are one of my favorite things about this wing, because you can be going upwind with your wing almost straight up and down. Right. Um, and when I was learning, and I think a lot of people when they're learning the sport have this issue that as soon as your wingtip hits the water, that kite's gonna flip and you're going down. Yeah. And by having we this did that off, a lot learning. Yeah. We <laughs> were like dragging wingtip like for a second and it's like thing goes down. Full flip and restart. Yeah. But, um, yeah. The cut squared off wingtips on the V2 are um, they just really eliminate that problem. And even if you do hit the water, a lot of times that squared right. tip allows you to recover and you don't go down. Right. So, so like when I'm cru if I'm cruising, and I touch down, I can pop it out. Yeah. A you lot pop easier. it out and you keep going on your way. Right. Right. For sure. Yeah, so I mean that squared off wing tip is pretty unique and, and this is a 4.4, four. you know, particularly as we get into the larger size of these wings, you know, they're trying to, they're changing, you know, the uh, aspect ratio of, the, of the, the wing, length versus width, gotta take a shot, that one's for you guys, wish I had one here, 
Dr. Joe will be proud. But basically, as they're getting bigger, as the wings are getting bigger, they're changing the aspect ratio so you don't have these huge wingtips. And, you know, part of it is like, they're like, hey, well, let's just chop the wingtip. It makes the, the frame more rigid. Uh, you're not catching the wingtip, and then it's easier to recover. So it's like kind of a small design thing that actually, when they're going in the bigger sizes, really makes a huge difference. Um, it's also great, too, they've got a huge range in sizes with these things. So, you know, this setup here, you know, this is the 4.4, and I mean, you know, I've seen you riding this thing in like, 12 and I've seen you ride it in like 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really covers the whole spectrum. You know, so, you know, they are, you know, a really great all around uh, wing. You know, we've been stoked with the, you know, like the, the performance on the top end. Obviously, you're kind of riding it more, you know, in the top end, really coming from the surf end of the spectrum. But we've been putting some beginners on it and the light weight of it and just how well it flags out while yeah. you're handling it makes it really, really user friendly. And then cutting off the wingtips, you know, again, is going to reduce that wingtip drag. So, I mean, that th this wing is definitely kind of one of those ones like, hey, if you're going to be going into the surf and knowing that's the direction, this is where I'm going, no question get this wing. Even as a beginner, you can totally handle it. Yeah. And again, like when you got this wing, you were you were riding pretty well. As soon as you got this wing, you just was like, pff, took off. Like mm -hmm. your ability level just went through the roof. What yeah. you're doing on waves, you know, now compared to when you got this, uh, a month ago is like a night and day as you know as far as your your wing and Absolutely. part of it is you're getting better but the equipment made a huge difference right off the bat you know so Absolutely, um yeah. yeah so that's the sling wing v2 you got anything else for us james no oh, i'm stoked to uh, keep getting better and keep learning the sport and having fun I'm thankful for a wing that helps me do so so awesome right on well if you guys want more reviews you can go to realwatersports.com or give us a call at the shop 252-987-6000 see you guys on the water thank you james you.